Those of you who have been with the channel since at least 2019 will remember that right at the beginning of everything that happened in 2020, I began making statements that a lot of people took issue with. I said Florida is on the ground separating itself from the rest of the United States. Now, while in technical law we are still part of the country, de facto we are our own nation and began referring to Florida as the new free republic of Florida. Well, now here we are in March of 2023, and we are very, very close to a confrontation just like what we saw back in the 60s where it might be state troops versus federal troops. It is going to be on like Donkey Kong. What has just happened in the last two hours is a big, big deal. Of all of the videos I've done, this might be the most important. This is going to go down in history. Mark my words. Now, what am I talking about? Of course, this issue with President Trump being indicted. This is from the governor's office just a few moments ago. The weaponization of the legal system to advance a political agenda. This is Ron DeSantis speaking here. The weaponization of the legal system to advance a political agenda turns the rule of law on its head. It is un-American. The Soros-backed Manhattan district attorney has consistently bent the law to downgrade felonies and to excuse criminal misconduct, yet now he is stretching the law to target a political opponent. Now, pay attention here. This, this paragraph right here should make everybody wake up. Florida will not assist in an extradition request given the questionable circumstances at issue with this Soros-backed Manhattan prosecutor and his political agenda. Now, everything going on between DeSantis and Trump needs to be put aside right now. It is time to close ranks. They can settle their differences later. If any of you had a doubt about the leadership of this governor, this should put it to rest. He has now just basically stood up against established law in this country on behalf of what he believes is right to back up Donald Trump. This is huge. This is, wars have been fought over less than this. And I've just got one word. These guys want him? Soros, Bragg, you want him? You want him so bad? Come get him. I dare you. I double, triple dog dare you. You do not want to mess with Florida right now. We've been nice, and we've been cordial, and our governor has been uh, very circumspect in the way that he has spoken about the events of the last three years, but he almost slipped a couple weeks ago, and you could see it on his face when he slowly and coldly turned to the camera and said, Florida stands alone, because that's how we feel right now. After 2020, yeah, we've had some folks that have kind of rallied to our side after the fact, Texas a little bit, Tennessee perhaps to some extent, South Carolina, but when it came to the offensive operations of 2020 and standing up against D.C., standing up against the dictatorship that would have taken hold, it was Florida standing alone, and we're going to now stand alone again. And I'm sure a lot of people are already typing. Don't doesn't Governor Santos know what extradition law is? Yeah. Absolutely. But there's reality. You see, this is the difference between de facto, meaning in reality, what's going on on the ground, and de jure, D E space J U R E in law. See, in law, you can say whatever you want. But in reality, if we don't want them to have Mr. Trump. They won't. Period. End of discussion. That's just the way it's going to be. Fact, we have our own militia again. We have stood up over the last two years, quite a few guys, in the specific, not National Guard, Florida State Militia, the Sons of Liberty. And there are plenty more ready to rally. And Mark, it's and guys, look, it's not about this anymore. She lives in Ocala, for those of you who don't know. She has a beautiful horse, nice ranch. She still directs movies. She lives in Ocala. She lives here in Florida. It's not about his romp with Stormy. It has nothing to do with that anymore. I mean, yeah, that's the basis where all this came from. 
but it's really not about that. Nobody cares. Given how often this goes on in Florida, old man, younger woman, did yawn, news at 11. Nobody cares. But for those of you who want to get read in on this, extradition law in the United States. Extradition law in the United States is the formal process by which a fugitive found in the United States is surrendered to another country or state for trial, punishment, or rehabilitation. Interstate extradition, the extradition clause in the U.S. Constitution, requires states upon demand of another state to deliver a fugitive from justice who has committed a treason, felony, or other crime to the state for which, from which the fugitive has fled. Sets the process by which an executive of a state, district, or territory of the United States must arrest and turn over a fugitive from another state, district, or territory. Now, Governor DeSantis is not an unintelligent man. He was a judge advocate general, JAG, in case you ever hear the term. He was a JAG officer. That's basically the military version of a lawyer. And so he knows the ins and outs of constitutional law. In fact, he even wrote a book, hundreds of pages long, detailing this. So he's very well read, very well schooled on constitutional law. He's got something up his sleeve. What it is, I don't know. I'm smart enough to not speak about when I know I don't know what I don't know. But he's for him to do this, for him to say Florida will not exist in an extradition request, he must have something up his sleeve. He must know something, or he must have some defense already cooking. So, I know this is probably going to make a lot of you pop into some cognitive dissonance because you think the two hate each other, because they've been going at each other for the last year, Trump and DeSantis, over a lot of things. It's time to close ranks. It's time to close ranks and figure that out later. Whatever they want to, you know, debate or talk about, it's not the point now that they're not the enemy not the enemy the enemy is in new york and i would advise those in new york who think they run this country and they have for quite some time we've already defeated california to the point where they're basically a national embarrassment this little issue with disney and them vacating the board's powers and handing it back to Disney has no right to operate at all in the state of Florida. And look, there are plenty of other private companies that would love to swoop in and build roller coasters and all sorts of things for people to do if they would like to basically take their toys and leave. We ain't got an issue with it. We do not have an issue with it. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Governor DeSantis is an effect. He is not a cause. He has been a hell of a governor. But there are people in this state that are way, way, way to the right of him. And I mean way to the right. To, to, to everyone else in the country, Governor DeSantis is literally over way on the far right with Trump. There are people way far to the right of them that would have... Well, ladies in public, you would be wearing dresses. There would be no more pantsuits in the state, period. That'd be the end of it. There are people here that would not have women working. There are people here that would go back to the 1950s in a heartbeat and reestablish everything exactly the way they were back in 1953, meaning reopening the asylums and filling them back up with you-know-who. And I'll just leave that up to your imagination about who's running around right now in our country mentally ill and deceived and thinking that they're really part of polite society when they're not. So I will leave it there, but mark my words, this is going to be the day. Today is going to be the day people look back on and say, wow, a sitting governor finally stood up for what was right and said enough is enough and he did it again but this time this time it's going to have teeth this time new york probably is not going to take very kindly to us not honoring their extradition request and they may take it to washington dc 
And so then we're going to have a Washington, D.C., New York versus Tallahassee showdown. And it's going to get hot. Mark my words, it's going to get hot. So I will leave it there. But well said, Governor. Very much appreciate it. As far as you two go, bring it. That's all I'm saying. Bring it. Bring what you got. We'll see how it turns out. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.